like that, you see? Then, once you've got your shape, you fit it into the patchwork where you fancy. Then the real work begins. It takes ages, of course. For someone like me, years and years. And then there's the question of uh, Cowrie Island, Sir Mostyn, hmm? uh, Sir Molan Protectorate. Ah, yes, Cowrie. Where is Cowrie? I know, sir, but that's where it is. I see. It's so small that, quite frankly, we're lucky it was included in the Samoan Treaty at all. Lucky? Yes, sir. You see, according to our engineers, it'll make an absolutely first-rate seaplane base. Seaplanes? Yes, I see. It's directly on the route from Hawaii to Darwin. The Americans... And it's ours, you say? Yes, sir. Nominally, what, what, it is. What, what about the Americans? The Americans are interested in it too, sir. Yes. At the moment, we're proposing American commercial development in exchange for some form of uh, shared sovereignty. Good. I see. And we own the little dump, do we? Uh, nominally, we do, sir. Oh. Yes. Am I to infer from that that you think we ought to own it in rather more than name? <laughs> uh, yes, sir. The governor of Samoa is but proposing... Humphrey Logan? Yes, sir. Sir Humphrey thinks that we should nominate a British resident for Cowrie Island. What do you think? I think he's right. So do worry. There'll be a problem, of course. Sir? The question as to whether Humphrey Logan can find any one plain foolish enough to take it on. <laughs> <laughs> there. Told you, Edge. Aerial frequency. In the Empire Service, now they can get Greek digging, Island Ocean. And progress. It's the trickiest, though, for some reason. Daventry. Daventry. There. <laughs> oh, smashing, Charlie! <laughs> Can you remember that? <laughs> Just about, then. Remember that night? Was it, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Hello, <laughs> boy, <laughs> Oh, dear, oh, dear. It's too hot. That was a good night. <laughs> <laughs> Dory, well, is she? Oh, yes. Looking forward to going home, I think. Back to Blight, dear. Dory's little dream cottage. That's the ticket. Oh. Hi, by the marshes. Listen, Charlie, have you got any idea why Sir Humphrey wants to see me? It's not my pineapples, is it? Oh, well, could it be? My well, artesian well. I never got a drop out of it, mind you. The civil engineer said I was way out of order even sinking the thing on my own land. Red tape. Red ruddy tape. Oh, I don't know, Edge or Mark. I don't know. Did we save the bloody pineapples? <laughs> Mr. Edgehill is waiting, Sir Humphrey. Mr. Edgehill, Sir Humphrey. Who? Edgehill, sir. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Speaking from the Lithuanian port of Hamel, Herr Hitler declared that what he termed the Polish problem might have to be settled by military means. 
Germany is demanding free access to East Prussia across the Danzig corridor. Turn it off, Charlie. Fair turns my stomach. Italy has announced. We'll heritage. crawl back under our stone like we did with Czechoslovakia. So how can we see you now, Mr. Oh, hello. Germany right. The influence of both France and Uh, any idea what all this is about, then, Mr. Stone? The salary would, of course, be commensurate with the usual colonial office scale. Yes, of course. Have you any particular commitment that would prevent you taking up a post fairly soon? Not really. Well, we could, of course, accommodate some delay, but... Uh... No, it's just that uh, we've booked a passage to go home, that's all. <laughs> My wife... Well, I'm sure we could meet any cancellation fees. But my wife... Yes. I don't know, my wife hates any change of plan. Hates it! I've never noticed how curtains are always mentioned. Huh? Always seems to be curtains. Now tell me, what are your feelings about the possibility of war, Mr. Rachel? I'd say it was more than a possibility. I'd say it was a dead racing certainty. I agree. You see, the post of British resident involves considerable responsibilities. For instance, I represent the Crown at Samoa. I have a staff and so on as governor. I am one amongst many. But on the island, you would be the sole representative of the Crown, the ultimate authority. Yeah, it's quite so. I see that. It's an honour, of course. Great honour. But also a very grave burden. Not one to be shouldered lightly. Perhaps you'd like more time to think about it. No, not at all, Sir Humphrey. Not at all. No. No. Honor. British resident. You British resident. It's a bit of a caper, isn't it? What a moment to choose. Just when we're off home. Oh, poor old boy. Poor old age. Still, it's an honour, isn't it? Just to be asked. Hadn't you heard about the pineapple? Yes, he'd heard. And it didn't worry him? He thought it was a very go-ahead scheme. <laughs> They're not very well informed at the top, are they? I, I don't think he 